Hey everyone, tonight for dinner I'm making a chicken. So I started out by taking all this out of the chicken, uh, the giblets and stuff, and draining the juice from the bag. Next, I'm gonna take this chicken and move it into my pan, where I will season it with salt, pepper, and garlic sea salt. First, I'm letting the chicken just finish dripping off before putting it into this pan, because I don't want any of the extra chicken juice. And then I'll go grab my canola oil so we can start seasoning this. You'll be able to tell by my face quite often, I hate touching raw meat. I'm just rubbing the canola oil around with my hand though to make sure it's completely lathered and then the seasonings will stick better. And I started off by seasoning the bottom of my chicken. When making a whole chicken, it's important to season the whole outside and inside of the chicken because it's so big you want to make sure that you have good flavor going all the way through. And I noticed that I had messed up my thermometer so I had just taken it out of the chicken and put it back in so it would be laying in there right. You can obviously season your chicken with whatever you want but I prefer just like salt, pepper, and garlic sea salt. And then the chicken's gonna cook in the oven on 350 for about two and a half to three hours, at least according to the package. This chicken was a little bit under seven pounds. And then I'm adding a half a cup of water to the bottom of the pan. After about two hours of my chicken in the oven, I started making my sides, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, and garlic bread, and also some gravy today. First, I boiled my potatoes, and then for my sweet potatoes, I mashed them with some maple syrup, brown sugar, and cinnamon, added some marshmallows on top, and put them into broil, and then I mashed my mashed potatoes. This was our chicken once it came out of the oven, and then I started making my gravy. I let the chicken sit on the side for a few minutes so I wouldn't lose all my juices when I started to cut into it and also not burn myself too much. I started by removing all my drumsticks and wings to another plate and then cutting my breasts off using the breastbone as a guide. Cutting up a chicken is definitely a messy process. Once I finished taking my chicken all the way apart, I threw out the bones, and then I started to make plates. Do you like chicken dinner? Let me know in the comments. We're finally in turkey month too, so I bought a turkey when I was at the store as well, so we'll probably be making that tomorrow, or the next day. And here's dinner! Have a great night!